And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off, I um, again wasted one whole episode just doing bartering. But this bartering um, was for the better because now we are no longer irradiated, as you can see. And we shall now talk to um, Cabot and get our our reward for visiting the globe. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? Yep, I sure did. Great. But um, the High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. Uh, of course, of course. This is great. Hang on while I open the door. And we got 2,000 points in experience. Not enough for level up, but... Still, 2,000 experience points. Uh, something worthwhile. Okay. Um, okay, we're now in the brother Brotherhood of Steel. Um, and I wanted to check my inventory. Uh, can we actually read this disc? Um, oh, we can't. Because that's already in our uh, database. Um, archives. No. Where are those? Yeah. Why are those under status? Okay. Um, I think we... I think we read those already. Um, yeah, we've read those already. Okay. Uh, let us talk to the people here, like this one, this guard. Um, okay, he won't talk to us, but this one will. Good day, Initiate. How may I help you? Hey there, Lex. You're looking mighty fine. What time shall I pick you up? Um, am I playing a gay character? Why is this supposed to be a, a female guard? Well, because the model is exactly the same as for the other one. Okay, let us go for this line. That's pretty funny. You're joking, I hope. Actually, don't answer that. I don't think I want to know. Hmm. Maybe our character is gay, actually. Uh, thanks a lot. That's exactly what I needed to hear right now. I'm sorry. It's just that you outsiders have such strange way of talking to people sometimes. Is there anything I can help you with? Hmm. Well, I guess I should talk to this High Elder person. Where is he at? Maxon, the High Elder, can be found on the fourth floor. If you take the other elevator down to level 4, he should, he should be either in the council room or the elders room. You can ask one of the guards on that level. They should know where he, where he is at the moment. Uh, thank you. Where? Hello brother, Mr. Man. Be careful if you... Oh. If you go to the, no to the north, our scouts never returned. Have you talked to Rhombus? He's there at night. He's just right over there in that room. And... Yeah, you can actually only have the dialogue with him one time. Or he... her. He... It just says Paladin. It doesn't say which gender that Paladin has. So it could be a male Paladin. Probably a male Paladin. But I don't know if they are are female paladins in this game. Anyway, uh, let us talk to this guard. I wish I was training right now. This guard, guard duty is a waste of time. Okay, let's talk to Michael. Hello, brother. How can I help, though? Uh, you. Please excuse me for asking, 
But what do you do for our brotherhoods? Oh, nothing quite as glorious as our paladins. I just run the supply room, checking equipment and other supplies out to people. Uh, I was sent here by... Bob. Uh, he wanted to get him that new high-tech weapon thingy. He said to bring it right away. Uh, you can't check something out right now, I believe, because you need to talk to someone else. Um, but first of all, we shall do something very exciting. Let me just um, wait here and look at those people training, because doing so shall increase our hand, our unarmed combat skill. So this is, yeah, a bit boring to watch, so I will maybe read out those text lines as they pass by. If given the opportunity, test your opponent. Don't rush the attack. All right, my little one, try to hurt poor old Gramps. You see how he lost his balance? Overextending yourself leaves you open for a counter attack. When you attack, be sure not to overextend. Why is overextending so bad? If you have the opportunity for a kill, shouldn't you go for it? That's a lot to risk your life over. Overextending leaves your inside vulnerable to a counter attack and puts you off balance. One little shove will land you right on your ass. Okay, let's give another young punk a try at Gramps. Hmm. Let's see if you've learned from the previous example. Not bad. That last move almost got me. Quite. Don't make me bring Rumbus in here. We'll rub up all your asses. Are you sure you want to be an init scribe initiate? Those talents would be a shame to waste. We'll just keep you in reserve, okay? Uh, I'm just fooling with you. You may want to reconsider a career as a knight. Just think about it. Thank you, Brother Thomas. I hope you will all you all noticed how Brother Anthony did not overextend himself. You also tried to use my weight and bulkiness against me. Well, that's all for it now, so let's review. Hmm. <laughs> Don't overextend. Yeah, I'm sorry folks, but um, you have to watch this whole sequence 
in order to get that experience points. Don't overextend. Um, I'm not sure whether or not this actually ends or whether it just loops indefinitely and Keep your eyes on me. Pay attention, people. If I remember correctly, it does. This scene actually does end, and the people will leave. So, <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should make a cut here and then, okay, maybe, so either I will make a cut now and then I will we'll be back in a moment or we'll, I'll just keep that footage. And we are back from the cut. Um, sorry. So I found out, I found out that it probably is not, um, it won't register, I mean, this event probably won't register because I've already maxed out my unarmed skills. So I've been waiting here for basically forever. And it didn't, um, well, didn't give me the, the event. So uh, for this reason, yeah, let us do something else. Let us talk to Talos. Hello, you must be the outsider initiate. Nice to meet you. What can I do for you? Um, who is the leader of your organization? That would be the Council of Elders. More specifically, the High Elder Maxon. The Elders make all the major decisions around here. If you need to speak with them, you'll find them on the fourth floor. Um, we actually already knew that. Um, so what do you do? I am the Senior Paladin, Rombos' right-hand man. We are in charge of the Paladins and Knights. Right now I am supervising training exercises. We're getting ready for anything. Getting ready for what? There are rumors of a large force moving around in the mountains and desert. With the missing, missing caravans and these rumors, we're just playing it safe. Hmm. He's actually talking about the mutant army that we already have learned about. Really? Okay, thanks. Um, what are the important people around here? Well, we are all important, but I know who you're referring to. There's Rhombus, he's our head pa paladin, also known as Master Knight. Then there's Vri, she's the head scribe. And of course we cannot forget our distinguished High Elder Maxon. Tell me about Rhombus. Rhombus is my best friend, mentor, idol and father figure all combined into one. He's a little rough, but he has to be to be in the position he's in. If you ever need to talk to him, he is normally in his office, I mean room. That's on the other side of this level, across from the guard room. Tell me about Vri. Vri is one of the most intelligent people I've ever known. I think she was born with the natural understanding of physics and chemistry. She spends every waking moment doing research or analyzing and reanalyzing anything she can get her hands on. If you ever need to talk to her, she can normally be found in her room on the third floor. Okay, tell me about Maxon. Maxon is one tough old man. He's the great 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 grandson, or was it great 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 grandson? Well, anyway, he's this, this, the descendant of one of our founding fathers. He, of course, is the High Elder. That's it, thanks. Um. How can I get some better equipment and weapons? I can help you with that. As an initiate you are entitled to a few things. I'll put in a clearance for your combat armor and three order for, for ammunition, bullets of your choice. Just see Michael in the next room for the supplies. Um, thanks. What about some high-tech weapons? Hmm. I don't know. 
You may have proven yourself to be initiate, to be an initiate, but that doesn't mean we start hand, handing out, handing over weapons to someone that might not be qualified, especially an outsider. No offense. Hmm. I really need some better firepower. You've built quite a reputation for yourself. The people I've checked with hold you in high regard. I don't think you need any help. You seem quite capable, how capable. However, if you help me with a little problem, I might be able to reward you with something. Hmm. Sure, what's the problem? I sent one of our initiates out to the harp a short while ago, and we haven't heard back from him. If you can find out what happened to him, I would be very grateful. Um, I will check this out. Thank you. I re I'll remember this and when I've seen that you've gained enough experience, I might be able to give you something special from our order. Um, where's your doctor located? She's on the second level. Just go down to the second floor, make a left. We'll see it just past the learning room. I should get back to work. If you have any other questions, just ask. Um, where can I get some more ammo? <coughs> Sorry, you've had more than your share for this week. You'll have to make do with what you have. We don't have an endless supply of ammunition. Um, let's just leave. Okay, let us talk to uh, Michael. Hello again. How are you doing today? How can I help you? Is there anything I can help you with? You seem to be awfully busy. Well, actually, Sophia has been in need of some EMP grenades, but I haven't had a chance to run them down to her yet. Do you think you could run them down for me? Sure, hand them over. Okay, there you go. Sophia is one of the two assistant head scribes for Vri. She is normally in the library on the third floor. Okay. Yeah, we got three EMP grenades. Um, let's talk to Michael again. Why haven't you delivered the items I gave you? Sophia is expecting them. Um, uh, I'm sorry, can you tell me where she is again? She is normally in the library on the third on the on the third floor. Okay, let us go to the third floor. Uh, we need to use another. No, we just use the same elevator. I think yeah. Um. Or do we? No. Okay. Um, okay, where's the elevator? Ah, there. Let's deliver those grenades so that we can have... Uh, resume our dialogue with Michael. Okay, Sophia supposed to be one of the heads, one of the scribes here. Um, okay, some see a scribe. A scribe. Ah, there, Sophia. I understand you have something for me. Uh, yes. Yeah, you are. Thank you very much. It was nice of you to drop these off. Uh, let's g go back to Michael. Um, we shall talk to the head scribe later. Um, where are you at? Let's 
So the first floor. Um, was it was probably a mistake to invest uh, the lo those last few skill points into unarmed combat since I could have well gotten those from this training room. Okay, why hello ah why hello again? Sophia says you delivered the grenades. That was very kind of you. She's working on a better version and needed to see if the circuitry was compatible. And we gained 300 points in experience. Uh, hello again. How are you doing today? Um, I have something to pick up. Okay, let me see here. Ah yes, you do have authorization to check something out. A good defense is the best offense. Or was it the other way around? Well, it doesn't matter. Here's your armor. Be sure to take care of it. I can't give out more than one set. Was there another item you needed? Uh, yes, I have something else to pick up. Oh, something else? Sorry, I must have missed it. Let me see. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, yes. You do have authoriza authorization to check something out. You need some ammunition, right? Well, what kind of... What kind do you need? Give me some... Armor piercing rounds. Okay. I've got some of that. You never can have enough ammo, right? Well, there you are. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Now we got another combat armor. Suit of combat armor. Uh, is this different from this one? It is actually. And it is much better. It gives you better um, resistance to basically everything. Despite the fact that it looks the same. And we have got gained some armor piercing rounds. Okay. So when we'll come back, folks, well, we shall talk to various people around here and yeah. Actually do something. Um instead of just waiting for time to pass by. So until next time, folks, until then.